Well, CERU currently traded at $2.37. It's been uh, a very long while. Uh, looks like almost six weeks, five and a half weeks since we've looked over this one last. That would put you back at, uh, I can get a better idea, right here. All right, so watch trade uh, buying pressure. Uh, you guys had a gap down here, never filled. Down here in this area, uh, yeah, it never filled. I mean, it, it happens. But um, one thing I want to point out here, you guys know how I am. I'm very, very big on these gaps and wa watching these gaps and following them and how they play. Uh, taking a look here. That would actually come down a little bit more. I'm taking a look at uh past area. Yeah, right around there. There we go. All right, so you guys know how I am. I mean, I really do follow these gaps really closely. Uh, but the reason why I zoomed out here is I want to point something out to you, and, and hopefully it'll help you out uh, when it comes to understanding uh, these right here, these uh, these stock charts and these gaps. So, anyways, there we go. Uh, it's gonna be right around that two dollar mark. All right, so uh, when you look at these charts. And you know how I'm always about the gaps. Watch the gaps, don't play the gaps, and you know, or how they could always fill, okay? Obviously the one way down here never filled, uh, but more importantly, look at what's going on here. Is this gap right now that you have between the $2 mark and the $1.51 mark? Okay, now you're probably like, well, you know, when I do the videos and I talk about these stocks, watch the gap, it's going to fill, it's going to retrace. Right here, in my personal opinion, is not going to be an issue. I do not think that it's going to fill this gap. The reason why is if you go back to this chart, you don't see any trading within that area. No trading at all whatsoever in that entire area. That being said, what it's doing right now, as far as the technical analysis standpoint, it's not going to fill that gap. What does that mean for you? It could keep going. It really can. It's extremely possible that it will keep going. It's not going to retrace off of this and pull down off of that. So below here is history now. Above here is obviously what we're going to be looking for. That being said, there's going to be a few things to look for. This move that you're making right here, again, don't worry about the past. I personally think at 266 would come quick, and it was proven, proven right here because it's still that gap right here. Let's watch for uh, the buying pressure to continue. I mean, you guys are hitting a freaking serious day with volume. 23 million shares traded. Uh, that was a big day since uh looks like 2-3 when we looked over this one last. That was 234. I mean, it's pretty, you know, it's still got time. There's a good good chance that you could break record volume today. Uh, not saying that it's going to happen, but it, it's a possibility. Watch for the buying pressure to continue. Resistance level is going to be at two sixty six and three dollars uh, in seven. Looking, uh, uh, let's see if I can. Man, there's just so many gaps around the stock that it really could keep going. It really could. That's gonna be the top on that one. All right, so go ahead and watch for this one. The buying pressure to continue break the two sixty six and three dollars and thirty eight. I would like to know what Joe has to say. I really would because that might give me a little bit better insight. Well, I'm looking over to you know why it's moving like that, and I'm not seeing anything besides uh, analyst set right here. This one press release. Well, it's not. There's no recent press releases from these guys. And then no like quarterlies or anything there. The yearly's not up yet. But so the analyst sets uh Surla Lean Pharma price target at six dollars and seventeen cents. And that was at the uh the Cerbert gem on March eleventh that was published. I mean that's pretty much all I'm seeing of like, you know. Obviously on people's radars right now. But I I'm not seeing anything from the company. To, to like warrant the, the moves and stuff. So obviously, maybe there's, you know, <clears throat> something's up. I'm trying to see, even see what they do. All right, so it says analyst set Surlaline Pharma Incorporated price target at 617 was first posted by 
the Serbot gem and is the property of Serbot gem. If you are reading this article on another domain, it was stolen. <laughs> well, I'm on there reading it on there, so I'm not obviously stealing it. But they don't say why. Why is it at that? Let's see. That's pretty much that. They don't even tell you why they put it at that rating. So, I'm really sure, man. Uh, as always, if you want to research this company more, go right over to the CERU board over there on Investor's Hangout. From there, you can see the company profile, the time and sales, the recent news, the filings, the financials, the buy rating. And as always, if you have an opinion on the company, feel free to share it on the message board with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that are using Investor's Hangout daily. So right now, David, it's more like I'm seeing it's more speculation, I guess, or chart, whatever. Or maybe they're just thinking that they're going to have a good quarter coming up. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's, it's very possible, Joe. It's very, mm. very possible. A little bit of leaking going on, you know what I mean? Mm. Well, because I'm not seeing any announcements from them. I don't see they, they didn't present anywhere or anything else like that. They have, their last presentation was in November. So... That's pretty much that. All right. The, their last, the last, maybe it has something to do with this. So February 1st, they had a, their press release, uh, which was the last one. It was, Geraldine announces review of strategic alternatives. Maybe it has something to do with their strategic alternatives. So they're a clinical stage company developing nanoparticle drug conjugates. Uh, today announced, well, on February 1st, that its board of directors is conducting a comprehensive review of strategic alternatives focuses focused on maximizing shareholder value. Sterlium has engaged investment bank Aquilo Partners LP as its financial advisor to assist in strategic review process. The intention of the strategic view, review is to evaluate potential alternatives such as the sale of the company, a merger, a business combination, a strategic investment, into the company or a sale license or disposition of assets of the company process may not re result in any transaction and it's strategic review the board is considering among other things sir Lean's clinical assets ndc platform and cash reserves as outlined below so there are there obviously there's something going on with them but we don't know well, obviously the market may know so I'm sure we'll be brushing upon this one again soon enough. That's pretty much that, David. All right, so with the chart again, $2.38. This could keep going much higher, in my opinion, based on the chart. Resistance at 266 and 338. Support at $2.50. Uh, again, don't worry about that gap below it. I know I don't say that often, but it's true because there's never been any trading in that area. So, yes, it could move uh, up much higher. Not sure, obviously, exactly why this one's moving. As Joe said, so if you have any more information on this, make sure you leave a comment below. We would appreciate that so we can kind of get a better understanding. And make sure you get out there and share this video with others on uh, social media and other message boards and forums. We'd appreciate that very much if you did that. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe to stay updated with the hottest stocks in the market. And as always, if you have a hot stock that you would like to see us take a look at, Head over to investorshangout.com forward slash live.